Welcome back my comrades, I am Victor Barisov and today we're continuing Fallout 76 playthrough of all secondary locations in Appalachia and today's video is the Savage Divide Zone A secondary locations part 1. Now it's going to be, try to be about 3 parts of this area because in this area I'm looking at the list now there is 65 locations so my plan is to do 20 locations so 20, 20 and 26. 25 locations so that should be free videos hopefully that goes to plan if not there may be more i don't mind but we are going to get on to our first location once here and if you're wondering because i normally see some people asking sometimes why i shoot my gun or do an emo at the start of the video it's so i can line up my voice file with the video it's like a reference marker basically but my first location is if i can wheel in there we go it's called tent town at the at trail picnic spot and if you're looking for this one it's right here in the middle of nowhere and the vent messenger did spawn in very kindly for me so he's annoying but oh well so yes this is the first location and we're going to take a look around these locations do get bigger and smaller sometimes i did kill all the ghouls here hopefully they didn't respawn in but you can find some good stuff here ammunition there is some radix duct tape a uh, dead person on the toilet some dead ghouls already. But this is a nice location, I see, guys. You could have like a little community here if you want to, where you camp and the rest. But it is a great place to loot as well. As you can see, numerous mi miscellaneous loot you could take. And there is tents dotted all over the place. Some with weapons in, some with first aid, some with food, stuff like that, guys. So you could walk out of here with a decent haul, basically. So let's see. So as you can see, more weapons up here, toolboxes. There is a plan there. I think I know that one. Yes, I do. We could walk away with one plan. There is an evil gnome. Never trust gnomes in this game. That's my one advice. But yes, that is this first location. Not much here, but a few tents, some good loot. So yeah, you could set up a nice decent camp and it's well concealed as you can see. It's miles away from nothing, guys. The next location I'm going to is the Hunter's com Conference, something like that guys. But I will see you at that location in a minute. Right guys, we are now at the next location. So this one looks to be stairs, so I'm calling this the Hunter's Stairs basically, so now, because I cannot pronounce the other word. But yes, at this location, you'll find ball caps, two dead Hunters, what killed a Yao Guai. But this is the thing I don't understand right guys. How are these two skeletons already and the Yaogwai isn't a skeleton yet? That's my question. Oh, there is a thing down here. A little crate. So yeah, that's an unusual one. But if you are looking for this location, it is right here, guys. So not too bad of a location. Not much to see here. Just a little bit of loot. Not much. The next location I'm going to is Razor, Razor Edge Raider Camp. So I'll see you in a minute. Right guys, we are now at Raider's Edge Raider Camp. I'll show you this one on the map. It's just right here. Hunter's one's there and the thing's there. This seems to be following a trail by the looks like I am so far. But this one, as you can see here, if we go down on here, it appears to be a little shock type structure built on the edge of a cliff as you can see. So we've got a lookout tower up here. I, there was two level one ghouls here, so I'm not sure what the spawn rate's gonna be like. Whoa, where did you come from? Ceiling? I have no clue. But okay. Got some moonshiner jugs, a dead raider, a few like soup bowls basically, different bits of miscellaneous junk you could take, a outhouse with a nice door what's jammed open. Uh, some more hides, a skull, a locked chem box, level zero, so anyone can pick that one. A, a little wooden crate, a little bonfire going down here, with some skulls. Right at the bottom, oh, you guys have respawned, okay. Level nine, strange, and level three. Strange for you would be all high levels. Explosive crate, level one. I thought these were on, but no, some loose pulse mines. 
another dead raider. A couple of sleeping bags. Some posters. An open chem box. More 99. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Unless it's someone they've been hunting off the coast of here. But yeah, it's a nice view guys. It follows a nice trail all the way around. But yes. So if you are looking for this location, it is, like I said, just here. It goes from here, just up to about there. Then you've got number two and number one up there. But guys, I'm going to move on to the next location. What was number four was Rust Bucket Shrine. So I'll see you in a minute for that one. Right, guys, we are now at the next location. What was number four was Rust Bucket Shrine, a circle hinge of vehicles. So as you can see behind here, guys, it's just numerous vehicles in a circle with shrine. You can build at this location. I believe, I think it might be in Don Strong or Final Render or someone along them lines has built a camp in this location. I know that, guys. If I was looking up on their channels and seeing if they have, because this was a good location to have a look at, guys. As you can see, there isn't much here, but a few boxes and a chair you can't see. And I'm not going to have my power armor because, as you can see, there was a lot of scorched and ghouls attack me here. This is the car henge location, guys. If you are looking for this location, it's right here. A bit dangerously close to the Fisher site for my lightnings, but yes, there is this location here, guys. That is number four. The next location I'm going to is Cave at the Wilderness Edge. So back in a minute. Right, guys, we are at the next location. What is number five? Cave at Wilderness Edge. This is where I used to have my cam on one of my other characters. I'm going to show you, it's right here guys, but you may be asking yourselves, but Victor Barisov, isn't this at the Vault 79 or Vault 97 location? Technically, yes, Vault 79 or Vault 79 is right here where you need your pin code, type in there when you get into the vault area, but no, this cave is a separate one, or a secondary one, what is down here? Uh, I've just lost it again, over here, I think it is, is it? Yes. So if we go into this one, I used to have my camp here all the time at one point. If we go in here, you can see numerous dead bodies. Just land here, this was a camp where a few people, where a few loose things you could take. You can get cryo layer, some wood, some food, some water. And this used to be a great place for people to build because it was a one way entrance and no enemies could really attack you from anywhere. As you can see, it was a great cave to build on. Sadly, now that vault's there, you can't build here. What is a shame, because I had a good camp here at one time. But now I'm on top of the world, so that's where my location is, the scenic rocks. But yes, guys, that is this location. Uh, it's just here. Not too far from the farm or the fisher site, what's even more dangerous. But guys, I'm going to go on to the next location. What is Safe Robber's Standoff? So I'll see you for that one in a minute. Right, guys, we are here at the Safe Robber's Standoff. And to find this location it is not too far from the last location to be honest guys it's just right near the fault and the cave i showed you and it's a bit close to the fisher site but this location guys we can see there was a fierce standoff there is fresh blood from a skeleton somehow or oh, i think the ivy from the fox that killed one or two but yes there is a laser pistol some ammunition so these were three bank robbers who stole this level 3 lock safe so you do need a good high lock level and they basically shot each other dead and none of them ever got the safe and the book actually just says a pickup parked on a cliff has a safe on the back robbers attempt to settle their differences using blind ugly violence so we don't find out which vault they robbed but I think we know so yes the next location I am going to go into, guys, is number seven, and that is Water Purifier and Camp. So I'll see you in a few minutes for that one. Right, guys, we are now at the next location. And this is the Water Purifier and Pond and Campsite. So as you can see, there is a little campsite here. There is a radio. There is a plan you can get. I've already got that one. And there is a free purifier here with nothing in it because it needs power. But if you do build your camp here, guys, you will have a purifier already built for you. There's not much at this location bar that in a nice lake. But if you do go over here, 
you do get a nice view of the fort and the toxic valley in the crash space station but if you are looking for this location guys it's right here right on the edge of everything and that is location number seven next location i'm going to guys is uh, Raiders last fight, so I'll see for that in a minute. Right guys, we are now back at this location And this location is number eight Raiders last fight This was a bit hard to find because the area is completely overgrown as you see But if you do find this plane with a dead animal and this Raider, this is the rat, last Raiders fight So she put a fire on mole rat and lost and died next to this crashed biplane as you can see, it's just a biplane, radar and a dead animal, and the other wing is over here. There's a few chems and bits of loot around, so it's a goodish look location to loot. But it is just right up here, it's just up from the pond location, so not too far to walk. The next location I'm going to is number 9, now it's a toxic junk dump, so I'll see in a few minutes of that one. Right, we are now at the next location, and this one is called toxic junk dump. And basically it does say in the book there is a chance of you finding power armor here. But this is the location we have a truck, a load of radioactive waste barrels. There is two trailers here. So let's go and see if these trailers are open. And uh, nope. And oh that one is. So the power armor might one be in here. So I never really lockpick. But I will just lock this one just to see if the power armor is in here. If not I might spawn outside somewhere. But I am no good at lockpicking, as you all know. So once this is open, yes, we did get power armor. Hold on, we're gonna run up, take out this monkey. Just in case it has a bomb on it, we always know. So yes, you could end up with some radar power armor. I am gonna take the fusion core, because I am running out of fusion cores. So yes, you can walk away with power armor, it's inside a level 1 locked trailer. So if you're looking for this location, it's right here, guys. Not too far from the pond or the Raiders last fight. Next location I'm going to is Low Foothills Cyclists Camp. So I'll see you in a minute for that one guys. Right guys we are now back and the next location we are at is number 10 Low Foothills Cyclists Camp. And when I got here guys I heard fighting and when I came around here I found a dead charge ghoul and a dead so immune so I'm not sure who killed who first but oh well. But yes we have two tents here we have some toys up here, some milk balls, and we do have four bicycles, but I cannot, but I cannot seem to find any dead skeletons anywhere. So I'm not sure where these cyclists went, but they did leave their bikes here. So we've got one, two, three, four bikes, a couple of tents, and some kids' toys. So yes, it's got a quite nice view of the palace over there, the toxic valley, and some woodland areas. If you're for this location, it's just up here. So not too far from all the other locations we've just been to, guys. Next one I'm going to is Carhenge. Yes, I know a Carhenge location. So back in a minute. Right, guys, we are now at the next location. This is Carhenge. This is a different one. Half-buried cars pointing up. But instead of a throne, we have a chair and two standing up bicycles. Not sure what this could mean, but it is an interesting location. You, we will find different car henge locations throughout this region. But this is the second one. If you're looking for it, it is right here on the map. Not too far from the winding path. All the other locations I've shown. Next location we're going to is the Barley Farm Pond. And may I say guys, this area is highly dangerous. So I will see you in a few minutes if I have not been killed. Right guys, welcome back. We kind of have to be quiet and sneaky here. As you can see behind me, there is a flying bird, scorch beast, scary, terrifying thing behind me. I'm not going to go down to the location because I will be absolutely murdered. So I've came up with a better way to show you it. It's called photo mode. <laughs> I know guys, I'm cheating by not showing you this location. But this location is called number 12 and it's the Barley Farm Pond. So as you can see here, there is a truck with beer bottles in it. A skeleton was fallen onto some rocks and died. There is a broken canoe down there. And there is a couple of scorched as well. And a Christmas one. I would happily go and kill him, but I would happily die. I would probably end up dying from the scorched beast in the air. 
So yeah, this is this location, as you can see there, she is flapping around. So if you are looking for this location, guys, it's right here, right next to the Fisher site, they've put it. So that is number 12, guys. So that's the Bally Farm. Sorry I didn't show you properly. I do apologize, but I'm kind of terrified of them things. They are high level, dangerous, and all I've got left is melee weapons. All my other weapons are broken. And I'm not taking the risks of fighting that thing and dying endlessly, guys. So I do apologize, but I will give you another quick glance at it. But as you can see, that is it there, guys. That's the Fisher site right there, that black thing. And that's just the pond there. So it looks like a fun location, but too dangerous to risk. Sorry to say, guys. So I'm going to go off onto the next location. So I will see you in a few minutes in a much more safer location. Right, guys, we are now at the next location. What is number 13, Mull Miners Camp. So I did manage to sneak my way away from that Fisher site, what was all the way up there near that location number 12. Well, this location is the Mole Miners Camp. As you can see, there's a big sign, Restricted Area. Unauthorized personnel to keep out. So someone's busted this gate open and gone into this area. So as you can see, there's a few mining carts in the rest. There is a few dead Mole Miners because I've killed them. As you can see, they've erected this bonfire out of different bits and bobs. But if we go up here, you can see they've been at it building their little strands in the rest here power fists power helmets tools bits and bobs like that but as you can see looks like someone was working on a cave at some time but was never completed sadly but this is the mole miners encampment nothing much here nothing really there but if you're looking for it it's just down from the winding path palace just right here so it's a nice lovely location i can say that guys the next location we are going to is Hilltop House Ruins. This is number 14, so I'll see you in a few minutes at that location, guys. Right, guys, we are now at the next location, was number 14. This is Hilltop House Ruins. As you can see here, it is literally a ruined house. There was a possum, yeah. Now, there it goes. Hi, possum. Have fun. So if we go in here, guys, it's completely completely blurred house. If you want to, you can build here. Is there no possum? Yeah, apparently there's no possum around here. Sorry, possum, so I'm disturbing your mating, re seizing, or whatever you were doing in here. But you can't build at this location. So you could build a nice, lovely house out of this blast out ruins, but there's not much here, guys, bar the power, power station there where you could get electricity from if you built your camp close enough to that. But if you are looking for this location, it is right here near the Morgan Power Substation MZ01. So that's this location. Next location. 15 is pickup truck crash so i will see you when i reach that location right guys we are now at location 15 was pickup truck crash off route 98 so if we go down here since this pickup truck has slid smashed there is some loot in the toolbox and the driver's being capped out and killed instantly and it looks like he hit a cyclist as well So, yes, but apparently there is a, pr according to the book, it says, the real prize is a gravel pit in the vicinity. I don't really know what that means. I spent a few minutes looking for this gravel pit, but I couldn't find it. Maybe I'm just being blind, but maybe you would have better luck at finding it than me. I've tried wandering down here, but I could not see a gravel pit. So I'm not sure what they meant by that in the guide. Maybe it's a buried safe or something. I'm not too sure on that. But I couldn't find any gravel pit near this location. Why am I moving on to the next one? What is 16 oil slick on Route 98? So back in a minute. Right, we are now at the next location, guys. As you can see, there is just oil all over the floor, a dead body over here, a suitcase, and a truck that has been turned over with its toolbox falling out. The driver appeared to have got out but died over here. So this is not much at this location but it's a nice secondary location. If you're looking for it's just outside the winding palace as you can see right here. Next location I'm going to is Wreckage Camp and Radar Outlook. That's number 17 and it's just a bit further up so I'll see you in a few minutes. Right guys we are now at the next location what is 17 wreckage camp and radar lockout 
as you can see here, it's heavily overgrown. I walked past this place three times, but there is some explosives here. And if we go into the tower, you can find a few beer bottles, slim bag, and some ammunition. As you can see, there is spikes everywhere with radars. It is just down, just up from the radar slick. Well, not the radar slick, the oil slick there. The radar camp is just here, so not too far from that one either, guys. So there's not much to this location, just a lookout tower, a few lootable items, and quite a few dead bodies. But the next location I'm going to next is number 80, and that is the Mole Miners Network. So I will see you in a few minutes. Right guys, we are now at the next location, was 18, Mole Miners Network. So as you can see here, it is a small radius, a small mole miners camp, with numerous lootable items and junk all over the place. There is a few more miners, so I already took care of them. A couple of explosive crates, but as you can see, they've blocked off the mine here. Now, this has got me thinking. It's the best look at adding like a tunnel of networks for the mole miners, because as you can see, it's a mine entrance here. There's a mine entrance down there, and um, what do you call it? The Brafea, who does the legendary scripts, is down there in Berkeley, where she has our own mine tour. So, could all these link up eventually we could have an underground network passage to take us around Appalachia possibly I think but if we have a look over here it's just a fire not much more to this location but as you can see that guys just a few little bits and bobs but if you are looking for this location it's right here just off from the raiders camp and, and the oil slick so here that is number 18 next one I'm going to is number 19 that's Morgan Han Power Truck Jackknife. So I'll see you in a few minutes for that location, guys. Right, guys, we are now back at the next location. As you can see, there's some possums behind me. Just ignore them, they're being friendly. Uh, next one we are at is 19. This is Morgan Hand Power Truck Jackknife. So this is the power substation here. And this is a truck was jackknife. As you can see, we get some miscellaneous loot. There is some wooden crates. Destroyed truck. Some Oh, there's a poor dead possum. I didn't kill you. Who killed you? Well, I know. Oh, Red Flash Knight. Possibly he killed you. Feral Ghoul Officer. Whoa, you're wearing a new uniform. You're wearing a camo one. I've never seen one of you wear a camo uniform before. Huh. That's interesting. But yes. Hello, possum. But if you're looking for this location, guys, it is this one here. Just right next to the power station and the rest. But the last location we're going to today was location number 20 is Mole Miners Network South. So I'll see you in a few minutes at that location, guys. Right, guys, we are now at the next location. What is number 20? Mole Miners Network South. So as you can see here, this is the next one. As you can see, no blocked off cave entrance. So I'm starting, my theory might be right, the Mole Miners might be building an underground network everywhere for us to explore eventually. As you can see there's another fire and everything like that guys. So this is another nice lovely little location with a few things to loot, explosives, crit and bits of junk and weapons everywhere. But there is hostile enemies so be advised on that one. But guys this location is just right here. So we've got one here, uh, one down there and one down there. So it's a little network of rabbit holes I guess. Yes, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. That's 20 locations, and in the next video we will do the next 20 locations. But if you like this video, guys, give it that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it that thumbs down. If you have any questions at all about today's video or anything like that, guys, put them in the comments below, and I'll try and answer the best of my ability I can, guys. But until next time, I am Victor Barisov, signing off. Until next time, guys. Bye.